Hello and welcome to Brawl Duel. This time we have the Skyrim Sewers mod. Sewers played a relatively big role in the previous Elder Scrolls titles, but in Skyrim there's only the Ratways underneath Riften and that's pretty much it. There's a few hints that Solitude was meant to have a sewer, like the guards will actually use the manholes around the city, and there's also subtle sound effects of an underground canal, but maybe like some other features it was cut short during development. There's been a few sewer mods over the years, but they usually only add it to a single city, like the Whiterun Sewer System mod. Or they just act as an alternative city entrance or exit, like the City Sewer Access mod. But if you're looking for a fully fledged sewage system under several of the main cities, then the Skyrim Sewers mod is the way to go. As of right now, the mod adds an accessible sewer system to the cities of Solitude, Whiterun, Windhelm and Markarth, with a few smaller sewage tunnels under a couple of the forts too. These act as new ways to access the cities, but are also fleshed out enough that they can be explored in their own right. As the capital, Solitude has the most functional and widely used sewage system. It has three exits to the outskirts of the city and several others into nearby dungeons and city buildings. Windhelm and Whiterun are in the middle with a few exits each, and then finally Markarth has the smallest sewer with only a single exit, probably because Markarth dumps most of its sewage in the canal that runs through the city. The reason this mod really stands out is because of the sewer design. It's not just bland tunnels of all the same size, nor is it a copy paste of any assets from the Ratways. They feel new and the mod adds a lot of extras to make exploring actually fun. Ultimately, it's a tunnel system that has to be close to the actual size of the cities above them, and in some cases a lot longer when an exit is further outside the city, so the author used a lot of imagination to keep things interesting. A basic example of this is the tunnel types and sizes. There's a nice variety and it's not just the same all over the place. As exits widen or narrow, the tunnels will change in size and design. Sometimes they're huge and circular, and other times it'll look like they blasted a hole out with some explosives. And sometimes they look well maintained, and other times it looks like spiders or other creatures have completely taken control. The mod also adds several creatures and NPCs, whether it's skeevers, the homeless, or bandits. What they're doing differs too, so there isn't just a beggar sitting at an exit of every single sewer, and the bandits don't always have a camp set up. Sometimes they're just hiding out, or in a couple of cases they're even using the sewage system to smuggle goods in and out of cities. Another nice touch is that the tunnels feel to scale and you can even use certain things like grates or other openings to get a grasp of where you are in the city. It's probably not entirely accurate, but you can definitely tell when you've strayed too far from a city and you're heading towards an exit much further away. The furthest exit is probably in Solitude, which connects all the way to the Solitude Lighthouse. Basically, whenever you see a manhole, you can pretty much assume it's accessible and it leads to somewhere, and finding out where is part of the fun, and you should also stumble upon some interesting events along the way. Finally, the mod also adds some smaller touches just to complete the entire package. There's a few notes lying around from people that spend time in the sewers, and there's also a couple of new books that offer some background for the construction process. They're pretty good to read, and offer some insight into certain unusual things you might find underground. For example, Solitude Sewer sometimes makes use of Dwayman pipes, but the book explains that they imported unused pipes from Markarth to save resources. The mod also adds four new hidden weapons too, so that's a bit of an extra reward for your exploration. Overall, we like mods that add new locations to the world. Usually they're above ground and by default more interesting to explore, but we were really surprised with how well the sewers are implemented. They're also fantastic for a stealth playthrough, or even if you just want interesting ways to travel in and out of the cities. The only real issue with the mod is that it isn't compatible with certain mods that change similar areas. The only popular incompatible mod is Undeath, which also adds a solitude sewer, but apart from that you shouldn't have any issues. The mod also hasn't been updated in a year, but the author has given free reign to anyone who wants to continue the project. So if you're interested in that or just want to try out the mod then you can find a link in the description below. And as always be sure to leave an endorsement on any mod you enjoy and thanks for watching.